<laughs> defeated the final boss. Let's go. Did it. Defeated the final boss. That's right. The package is finally here. Loki, I was a little bit nervous. Not gonna lie. But it's here. But before we do this unboxing here, we definitely gotta give a big shout out to my guy, Old School Rookies, guys. You already know I've been shouting them out and we've been working together for a good while, minute now. Look, even labeled the best hoodies in the world. Best hoodies in the world, guys. Anyways, shout out to my guy, Old School Rookies. Use my discount code JAMK10. Save you guys a little bit of money on your all your orders. So all the links will be in the description below, guys. So you guys already know, I've been rocking my man, big homie in New York, man. Every time we link, every time I'm in New York, we definitely link up and all that good stuff. So appreciate you, my guy. And congrats, brother. And every time he has these new products and these new hoodies, guys, make sure you guys check them out because they do sell out pretty quick. I'm not going to lie. And you can use my discount code, JMK10. Anyways, here it is, guys. Uh, this is his recent order. He gave me a, a hat. I got a hat. Oh, snap, son. So he does, uh, of course, it's summertime now, so he's, uh, or springtime. Definitely gonna be rocking the tees and the hat too as well, as well. I can finally rock the hat, man. Oh, look at the hat right here, man. Got the MJ stitching embroidered. Got the old school rookies and also the four or five on the side, man. Like I said, uh, Old School Rookie, he always does embroidered st stitching on the hoodies and everything in the design. So, man, thank you, thank you, thank you. And perfect, 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 perfect. And here's some here's some tees right here. Nice and thick tees. Nice, good quality. This is where, it looks like where uh, MJ is wearing the 85s here. So this is a quick little stitching embroidered here on the side. Woo. Iron Mike Tyson. Look at that design here. Iron Mike, Iron Mike, Iron Mike. Oh, and this is that faded gray uh, vintage vibe type of T. The T here, this is a size large. Look, even got the patch here, old school rookies, size large. So if you like that, you know, um, oversized look to it, that baggy look, definitely go about a size up. So I'm usually about a medium, but this actually looks really, really, feels really, really nice. Nice and thick T, good quality T, man. So. Hey, appreciate my guy, Old School Rookies. Check him out. All the links will be in the description below. Check him out on his IG and all that good stuff. And don't forget to use my discount code, JMK10. Uh, all his products, when he re when he release them, they sell out pretty quick. So he does stuff like this. This is my favorite one. This is the 85 Chicago's right here. If you want to follow him on his IG, you can follow right here. Scan down your phone. Boom, boom. Good to go, man. So I'm going to rock the this embroidered tee for the rest of the, for the rest of the video because it's 85 you guys already know what the vibes are all right anyway so very excited to actually hit on stickers on these things i got super super lucky there was no like crazy trick to it i don't have a bot or anything like that straight to manual on my phone i just got very lucky and i know probably majority of people did end up taking l so all right let's open this up here Oh, the breakaway box. This is a good sturdy box, man. Now, there has been problems that I saw some people were getting for their actual restock pair. So, let's hope that we don't. So, this is going to be my double up for my personal, personal. Yes, sir. So, you guys already know, this is my size, size nine and a half right there. And let's just hope it isn't what I think it's gonna be because a lot of people's pairs been getting kind of like molded and moldy looking maybe some crazy quality control or whatever you gotta understand like these pairs were probably sitting in the warehouse for a good for a good minute so and okay so far so good I mean, I haven't seen a whole bunch of loss of bounds pair guys, and I have yet to see a freaking um, moldy pair. Did they put extra paper in here? I don't remember having this paper. I remember I was having two papers, right? I don't know, they came with different type of paper? The pair came with like two small little tissue paper, 
not sure if that's the case, but like this is one that came from earlier and it usually comes with two just thick paper. So they might have switched out the paper. Just saying, I don't know. Unless mine got, unless this one was crazy. You guys can comment down below if you guys got, uh, you know, one of those restock pairs. And like I said, it came with two different, this is a very thin tissue paper. So, hey, it came from Nike. That's all I know. Looking straight, let's look at production date. So production date, this one was made in May through July of 2022. And this is one of the pairs that came out earlier this year the beginning and same thing may to july so same production date i'm just thinking that nike probably end up um they just had a whole bunch they still have a whole bunch of pairs so i'm not sure about that paper situation i don't know what that's all about but i think a lot of people are talking about I, we believe that there's going to probably be another restock speaking of possible potential restocks uh shout outs to 40 plus baller he actually sent me a dm about Nike canceled his order because of out of stock. Now, as was a lot of people are saying that they didn't release all of the 240,000 pairs and there might be a restock coming out pretty soon. I don't know about my mans, but if they come out with another 100,000 pair of restock and they cancel my man's order, I will be very, very salty. I'll be very, very upset. That's really messed up on Nike's part. Hey, Nike, you gotta do better, man. Hey, they're canceling orders, man. I kind of had a feeling they were kind of doing that sometimes here and there. I was hearing about they were doing uh, some other orders like that with other people too as well. So that kind of sucks. But if they do another restock, they owe this man another pair. Come on, Nike. It's definitely probably one of the craziest release of all time. And probably will, will be because, you know, it's an Air Jordan 1, Chicago colorway. You know, it gets that... You know, everyone loves a Chicago, no matter if it's that lost and found and stuff, and just all this drama going on with people hacking and people's stuff, molding situation, and yeah, I was just like I said, I'm just very, very fortunate to able to get a pair to get was able to get in and get a dub on sneakers. I couldn't believe it. I was kind of like, yo, what the? It seemed like there was a decent amount of W's, but there was definitely a lot more L's because some people are already hitting me up because they're trying to like move some pairs. There's a good amount of people that actually hit me. I was like, hey, I'm waiting for pairs. Uh, I'll let you know when they come in. I was kind, I was kind of I was kinda like cool for show, um, but it seemed like it was a decent amount. But it was also, you know, trust me, with this shoe, there was definitely way more demand than there was supply. Like, I really think if, you know, if there was a million pairs, it wouldn't even matter because it would just sell out and go crazy because people was gonna try to go up for double ups. People was gonna try to go up for more pairs and it's just crazy hype. I just don't know what, what can Nike do, you know. Um, there was a situation, what about the the scanning pick, the, the, the scan cam or whatever, the cam or scratch and sniff or something, I don't know. What can Nike do? I mean, the best way I would say would probably be EA, in my opinion, to, to get to let go all the stock that they have. That might be their best bet. You know, just send out a you know massive EA to everyone, and if you're able to get in, cool. If you're not, then um, it's bots. And a lot of people I saw in the comments, they put in like you know maybe find a way to actually enter in certain information for it to be a legit actual person for your account. Like maybe submit your ID or something, maybe donate blood. I don't test blood. I don't know if they can do that. <laughs> That's crazy. But I'm just saying like a certain way for them to prove that your account is a real person. That's one way to do it. Because the way how bots do it, they just put in like a hundred to a thousand entries and hopefully one or two accounts hits. That's usually how it works. But yeah, man, just wait. I think there's gonna be another restock. Hopefully if I, once I find out that information, I'll definitely let you guys know. And I'm pretty sure Everyone will talk about it. But yeah, definitely I was very, very fortunate and I was very, very lucky to get these things. This is probably gonna be my biggest W of 2023. I don't think I'm gonna hit on anything else, you know? If I don't hit on anything else for the rest of the year, I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be I'll be cool. I'll just be like, hey, at least I got the lost and founds for a restock, you know. That's that's what I'll say. Cause I think this is gonna be my biggest W of this year. Uh, you know, Travis Scott's I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna hit on. Uh Probably other releases on sneakers I'm probably not gonna hit on. It, it's tough to hit on sneakers, man. It's tough. It just, sometimes you get lucky, you get a good run, and then it just flatlines and your account's dead. 
But anyway guys, uh, I just want to say I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for rocking with the channel and rocking with me, man, and, and supporting. I really do love you guys. Appreciate y'all. So if you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at German Chris on IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. And I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jeremy Chris. Push.